Hello, welcome to another Equipment World instructional video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the DMX controller that you can use to control some of our lights that we have. These are the two most popular ones, uh, but it can also control anything that you may have that has these DMX connectors, which look a lot like microphone. Well, they are the exact same as microphone connectors. So when you get this, you're going to be getting a light and a power cord, as well as a manual but hopefully I can make this simple enough that you don't need to use the manual. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna plug in power to the back, all right? So you can see power goes in the back here. And then this light, it, it helps, it just helps you to see if, if it's dark around, around there on, on the light board, uh, but you don't need to use it if you don't want to. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then you'll see what's up with that. Uh, so, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in the lights, power the lights, so I'm just do that. All right, and the next step that we need to do is connect the, the cables which transfer the, the data in between uh, the lights. So once again, we'll go to the back, and so we're going to use the DMX out on the, the mixer. The out goes to the in on the light, okay? And then the you can use the, the these these lights can daisy chain so you go out on on here into the input on here you can also use extensions uh like this this is a really short one just to to give you the idea see that the the cables just daisy chain together so that you can get uh, a nice long length that there's a long distance in between each of these so what i'm going to do next here is i'm going to turn on the power and i'll show you how things work on the lights. Okay, so when you first get into here, um, that A00 whatever, or the whatever number is there, that's the channel that it's on, okay? So you you could set these channels based on, uh, uh, well, it's based on how many lights you have, and you use this, you jump it by 16 every time. So you start at one. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this one number one. And so I just press A on here, I press A again, and that lets me change it to the next one. I'm going to loop that around to zero. This is going to be a first light, so I'm going to change it to channel one. All right, there we go. And we just leave it, and it'll save that. And then on this one over here, since we have to jump by 16, it's not, it doesn't go to 16, but the next one is 17 now. So I have to press and hold that. And then it, uh, you press and hold escape, and that allows you to, to change through the menu. Um, and then when you're on the number, you press enter, and then you can change this. I'm going to put it up to 17. All right. And then press enter. Wait for those guys to sync up. While we're doing that, we can turn on the mixing board. Wait for that to turn on. Super. So, um, I'm going to face these. I'm going to turn these around here now so you can see what color lights they're doing, and you can see what, what's happening there. All right, so this blackout that's flashing, that turns that turns all the lights off on the board. So we're going to, if you when you want to control that, you have to unclick that, okay? Or when you want to turn them all off, you can just press that. It turns them all off as well. Uh, make sure that you're on manual. It, when it automatically turns on, it should uh, automatically go to manual. And then so in order to select your lights, now we've set this one to number one because we set to channel one. I press one, and now... You can see I can change the lights on there. So one fader is red, one fader is green, one fader is blue. Uh, and then same thing. Well, it's it's and then these lights actually are slightly different. And you may need to to play around with the faders to find out with with your specific lights if you're not using these ones. This one here, this one's the main fader uh, to decide whether uh, like to turn it on and off. And then you have red, green, and blue there as well and then so you can see this fader turns can turn all of them together so if you once you get a good color mix like maybe you want fuchsia for your wedding then you you do that and then you can just fade it based on uh keeping that color uh and then this one also has uh this changes it to strobe so you don't need to do anything special there and that's the basics of getting it up and running and uh setting your colors uh, if you want to learn how to set scenes so you can save the settings uh, when you turn it off and turn it back on, then just watch the next video.